Well, you're very welcome to be out in the cottage. And here I am on this Saturday, and I was walking around my woodland because I've been doing a lot of work. And I was thinking, I often think as I walk. Sometimes I don't think at all. Sometimes I just go into a complete daze, like a deep meditation. But today, I was thinking about slow living and what it means in terms of the coming festivities of Christmas, of Yule, however you see it. I was up in Inniskillen the other day. Um, I had to go up there to collect some things. And I noticed that every second or third shop seemed to be, well, every third shop seemed to be closed. There was the beginnings of a recession, very visible. And uh, a few of the stores that sold a lot of cut price things were just jam packed with people. And then I went and, and well, I tried to get in. It was very difficult to navigate around a shop with so many people in it. But I was thinking to myself, what is it I really need to buy in here? Because I have this idea in my head about prepping and about storing more stuff in the pantry and trying to get some kind of stability into my world. Because this is the general perception now which is going around that because of the instability, because of the uncertainty, because of the lack of governance that we have, the lack of leadership that we have, there's a, a terrible vacuum which is transmitting itself to us in terms of we have to try to nest build and, 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 and secure our homes and secure our food supply and, and secure everything that enables us to live a, a reasonable life. But I turned and came out. I came out of the shop because I thought, I don't need to have anything else in my pantry. I have enough stuff in the pantry. If there's some kind of emergency, I'll be able to cope. If the electric goes out, I have plenty of candles. I have fuel in the barn. I have wood that I've cut. And I thought, what I really want is not to be here on this high street having all these fears and anxieties, subliminal as they were, because I don't focus on stuff like that as well, you know. But I just thought, I want to go home and just create something. Maybe make a wreath from my front door. Or think about redecorating the windowsill at the front of the cottage with the Samhain celebration decorations are. Or take the pumpkins off the windowsill now and, you know, turn them into soup. Do something that is just calm and slow. Slow living. Slow living. What does that mean, slow living? It means just jumping off that carousel, hitting terra firma and slowly walking away from the chaos. There's nothing I can do about the chaos. It's there. Do I feed it? Do I join the, the sort of rush that's almost like a stampede? And especially at this time of year. And the Christmas decorations are up everywhere and there's this big commercial drive to spend, spend, spend. Put yourself into hock, put yourself into debt, but buy those Christmas things. And that's all they are. Things. The opposite of what 
Christmas means. And so this morning, walking around the woodland, I looked at nature. I listened. I saw the beauty in what is free and abundant. And I just thought, Colette, embrace slow living from now until this craziness is over at the end of December. Embrace slow living and enjoy the day that's in it. And so that's what I've been thinking about and focusing on. And looking at the berries on the trees like like this. Driving along the road, seeing berries on holly and ivy hanging aloft and bits of fallen wood on the side of the road. What I really want to do is go out and forage. I don't mean go out and forage for food, but just to take a long walk and look at all the beauty that I can bring back home that costs nothing. And it, it's so heartening. It's so enlivening and energetic to have in my home. To get out into the woodland, which, you know, has only been here for the past 17 or 18 years. Well, in reality, the past 10 years. Because up until then, it was all small and growing and making its way up towards the sun. And I don't want lots of Christmas lights and lots of plastic stuff around me. I just want a candle in the window, maybe some little tea lights, maybe some battery operated LED lights. Something that doesn't cost the earth. You can see here, look, I've been cutting back and tidying up and getting the woodland gardens up around the cottage ready for the winter. So there's been some lovely time just spent here working. There's nothing cleans the soul, cleans the palate of the soul, like working outdoors or walking outdoors or foraging or whatever it is we do outside of our home. And just to breathe. Just to breathe and relax. And you know, it's our choice. It's our choice whether we jump into the chaos and the madness or we stand back and let everyone run in front and embrace slow living. And breathe. Blessings to you all. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely weekend. A little view of Bealdon Cottage when I first bought the cottage. And this was the land looking up from the road and the land looking down from the cottage. Blessings to you all.